לבדוק שזה סנולר?
So the main thing about this paper is that long-term modification of surgical symmetry due to steel coding. So the, the big thing that made this paper uh, uh, this paper in, uh, in natural neuroscience is the fact that uh, the authors also could show that uh, neuroscience uh, results in uh, try to go in the background really, really fast, just that we have time to look on as much data as we can. We will not have time to examine all the data of the article because it was so rich, but I try to bring you the important stuff and some stuff I found interesting. So the name of the article, Long-Term Modification of Cortical Synapses Improved Sensory Perception, signed by not less than 13 authors. The two main authors are Robert which is a young guy as you can see, and Iona, I don't even know how to pronounce <coughs> this name. Um, they were, um, they contributed equally to the article as it's positioned there. It was published, as Eric said, again in uh, Nature Neuroscience in 2013. A bit about the lectures layout. We no got power. Okay. Okay. So background, really quickly. First, because we discussed it in class already, and because Eric mentioned some of the things I'm about to say. Um, receptive fields of sensory cortical neurons are, are highly structured, but yet plastic. And when I say plastic, I mean that the features or activity of individual neurons or of uh, networks actually can be changed um, in a manner that depends on the patterns of electrical activity, sensory exper experience, and engagement of neuromodulatory systems, systems such as um, cholinergic nucleus basalis, which we will talk about So receptive fields, as we said, are highly structured, yet plastic, and this plasticity is believed to allow cortical neurons to act as dynamic filters, meaning it's adaptive in a way that uh, neurons can change their uh, features or activity according to an important stimulus which, which arises. 
right to the, to the surrounding or um, um, it allows learning and changing again in an adaptive way. However, as it was claimed by the authors of the article, there is a little experiment evidence in support of this hypothesis. These changes are studied um, in different, uh, different um, fields where um, there is exposure to uh, sensory stimuli or pairing. We're going to discuss about pairing today. In these cases, again, Ellie just no, said no, that, I, I yeah, so I have no reason to repeat that. The problems here are two main problems that were described by the authors. First problem is the problem of LTP and LTD as a solution for as an explanation for this. So here we start with the current study, first experiment, the basic experiment. There were three stages. In stage one, all cell recording were made out of 29 neurons. The idea was actually just to get measurements, just to characterize the baseline responses for five to 15 minutes. They did that for five to 15 minutes. And, and actually they, they played songs which varied on two dimensions, an intention, intensity, sorry, and frequency. Well, frequency, as we all know, uh, relates to the pitch of the sound, how high or low is the sound, and intensity relates to the volume, how strong or weak is the sound. And first stage, they only took measurements, again, just to get the baseline. In the second stage, they did nucleus basalis pairing. So here we have to say just a few words about the nucleus, nucleus basalis. We already said that, but this group of neurons is located at the basal uh, forebrain, and the important, um, the important role that the system has in relation to this article, of course, is that it's activated during directed attention or arousing behavior, behavioral episodes. So this is what they did. They start inducing modifications in a of A1 synaptic receptive field by repetitively pairing nucleus basalis stimulation with a non-precursor of specific intensity and frequency for one to five minutes. So we can see here um, actually everything we need to know. The procedure was like this. After stage one, that the, uh, the authors took measurements, they started, actually stage two is about the manipulation. They started to do the manipulation. So for one to five minutes, they played a song, which was not the preferred song, according to the measurements they took. It was not the song that um, the child elicited. Okay, that elicited the highest excitation. And they paired this song with a stimulus of the nucleus basalis. So it's a pairing procedure in a way that you play a song, you give a stimulus. You play a song, you give a stimulus. And you make a connection, because as we said, this system is responsible for saying, hey, why, why is it just a pairing at all? Why is it just a pairing at all? Why, why is that? What is, what is the point of this? Yeah. The, OK. The, the, So, uh, sorry, the, the tone was um, the tone occurred after the start of the nucleus basalis, but the pairing procedure took one to five minutes, and there were 